Hello, I'm Scotty. Hey, I'm Melinda, and we are Simple Life Big Adventures. Welcome to Meriwether Lewis Campground mm -hmm. on the Natchez Trace in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. The best thing about this campground is that it is free mm -hmm. camping. It's first come, first serve. It's managed by the um, MPS. Yep. So. And it's a beautiful campground. Of course, it does help that it's a beautiful November day. Yeah. It appears that all the sites are pulled through. Uh, they're spaced out very well, yeah. and they're big enough for even A classes to mm -hmm. park up in There's, here. You'll see, you'll see several in the video um, as we drive through. Um, but it looks like each site comes with a picnic table and a fire weight ring. It is dry camping. There's no water or no electricity. But it is free. Yep. <laughs> there are. There is a bath. Uh, uh, bathrooms. I'm, I don't think it has showers, but there are bathrooms located here in the campground. So if you plan on using the bathrooms here, you may want to strategically plan and park closer to it because mm -hmm. it's a pretty good distance from where we're sitting mm -hmm. now. Well, we're close to the entrance. Right. Yeah. Yeah. One thing that did surprise us about this campground was it is a 14-day limit per year. Yeah. So you yeah. can only camp here for 14 days in a year span, mm -hmm. is the way I interpret it anyway. So that was a shock to us, but I guess what they're trying to do, since it is a nice campground, it is free, they want to make sure that many people can take advantage of the situation, not just one person monopolizing it all the time. Uh, it is a beautiful campground. It is free camping here in Tennessee. It is one that you need not overlook. And it's very convenient if you want to explore the Natchez Trace, which is what we've been doing all day long. There's a lot to see here, and this is just an awesome place to camp. If that's mm -hmm. what you would like to do. Yep, yep. So don't overlook Meriwether Lewis Campground if you happen to be on the Natchez Trace.
actually exploring the Natchez Trace in reverse order. We're starting at the end, and um, we're going to try to show you some of the Tennessee section of the Natchez Trace. This bridge behind us happens to be our first main attraction. Gosh, it's beautiful. It beautiful. is very beautiful. So I just did a little research, and the bridge is 1,572 feet long and 145 feet high, right? Yes. Yeah. And you can actually walk underneath it, and it's amazing mm -hmm. how big this bridge yeah. is. Yeah, we're going to walk you under there, but don't miss it for yourself. And also, if you plan on exploring the Natchez Trace, be sure to stop here and get a map of the Natchez Trace. They're located at the top of the bridge and at the bottom of the bridge. It's the official NPS map, and they've pointed out every every little site that you can see along the 444-mile Natchez Trace. And you definitely don't want to miss out on anything. do some camping at the Meriwether Lewis campground yeah. which just happens to be free but it's a lot to see here it's been a fun day for mm -hmm. us exploring the area oh and we didn't mention that uh, bicycle riding here oh, is yes. the whole 444 miles yes. is bicycle friendly they encourage bicycle riders yes. it's pretty safe the speed limit is mostly controlled there's there's some that really don't listen but but it, that would be interesting it's a scenic byway, mm -hmm. so take your time and yeah. enjoy it. There's no, yeah. no sense of being in a rush exploring it. It has been a wonderful day, and the, the weather has cooperated with us, and we encourage you to get out and explore the, um, <laughs> what is it? Natchez Trace. <laughs> and we encourage you to get out here and explore the Natchez Trace.